Okay, so the question today is, can dogs eat avocados? Gosh, this question divides people and we're gonna talk about it. <laughs> Welcome back to the Pet Parenting Reset. I'm Jessica, if you're new here on this channel, we talk about dog training, dog behavior, cat behavior, dog and cat, nutrition and enrichment, all the things to keep your pet healthy and happy. I'm a pet parent coach and positive reinforcement dog trainer. It is so nice to meet you. If we haven't met already, make sure you comment down below and let me know a little bit about you and why you are here. Also about your pets. I really, really want to know about your pets. So with that, we're going to get right into today's video, which is can dogs eat avocados? Listen, this is the myth that just will not go away. <laughs> and Oh boy, short, I'm gonna give you a short answer and then we're gonna talk a little bit about it, okay? So if you're just here for the short answer, here it is. The flesh of the avocado, totally fine to feed your dog in moderation, of course, because it is a fat, it is fattening, right? It's, it's a healthy fat, don't get me wrong, but too much fat, especially too quickly, like if this is something you've never fed your dog before, can lead to digestive upset and diarrhea and we don't wanna cause that to happen with your dog, right? No, of course not. But the flesh of the avocado, totally a-okay. That said, the pit of the avocado, so the seed in the middle, and the uh, skin, the peel, the outer layer of the avocado, absolutely not. We do not want our dog to get into those. Um, one, the pit is a huge choking hazard, but also those can lead to digestive upset and can be a little bit more harmful if our dogs ingest them. So do not feed the pit don't let your dog get to the pit. Don't let them eat the skin or the outer layer of the avocado, but the flesh on the inside, super yummy treat. All right, so if you're sticking around, thank you so much. We're gonna talk a little bit more into detail about dogs eating avocados and some other stuff because there are just things we have to talk about, right? Like I have to do my due diligence as best I can in almost every video. I try, I may not, remember every single little thing that I need to insert into every single video, but I try because there's a lot of due diligence that has to be done uh, when we are talking about our pets and the care of our pets. These are living beings, right? So yes, there are certainly are a handful of foods that are absolutely hands down toxic to dogs. We do not want to give them chocolate. We do not want to give them onions. We do not want to give them any sort of foods that contain xylitol. Heads up, by the way, a lot of companies that are using xylitol in their products are renaming it birch sugar. So there are a couple of different names you need to be on the lookout for. It doesn't just say xylitol anymore. <laughs> of course, we also need to add grapes and raisins to that list. I think mostly raisins. I think there's still a little bit of debate out there on grapes, but for today's video, I'm gonna say grapes and raisins fall into the toxic do not feed category to your dog. Again, today we are talking dog specific. I know I talk about cats on my channel quite a bit too, so I'm just gonna add in one quick little blurb here. For cats, add to that list garlic. We don't wanna feed cats garlic. Garlic is okay for dogs, not okay for cats. So when we think about <laughs> all of the information that has been put out there for many, many years about this huge list of toxic foods for our dogs, a lot of times there have been foods that wound up on that list because if eaten in excess, it can cause some digestive upset, like avocado. I mentioned earlier, avocado is fattening. It's, it's a fatty food. So if your dog is not used to eating avocado specifically or even a higher fat diet in general, eating too much, having an excess amount of avocado in the diet can cause some diarrhea and digestive upset simply because their fat intake has risen so much so quickly. That doesn't mean that that food is inherently toxic to the dog. I hope that makes sense. In my mind, it makes sense. Comment down below and let me know if it made sense to you. <laughs> so there was a study done back in 1994 that concluded that avocados are toxic to dogs. Bummer, right? That was a long time ago. Since then, in 2012, a newer, more revised, more current, updated study came out letting us know that the flesh of the avocado is actually not toxic at all for dogs. So again, while we wanna feed avocado just the flesh, in moderation for our dogs. It can be a really healthy fat to add in, especially if we are 
looking for a ketogenic diet for our dog, which is something that we often wind up learning about if our dog has cancer, um, because a ketogenic diet can starve cancer cells. That's a whole other video, and I've actually, I think I've talked about it before. If I haven't talked about it here, I've definitely talked about it over on Patreon. Yet another reason to join. Um, but here are some actual nutritional benefits of avocado. Avocados are high in oleic acid, which is known to reduce inflammation in the body. It also supports heart health and has anti-cancer properties. Avocados are beneficial for gut bacteria, which we also call the mycobiome. Also, interestingly, when we think of potassium, we think of bananas. And that is because a banana has 358 milligrams of potassium in just one banana. But avocados actually have more. An average avocado actually has 485 milligrams of potassium. So if potassium is something we are needing to supplement, bananas are great, avocados are even better. So there it is in a nutshell. The flesh only of the avocado is actually totally okay to feed our dogs with one caveat. Again, we don't wanna overdo it in moderation. We would only wanna give this as a treat or a meal topper, which when we think about what a meal topper is, it should consist, and all of this together, treats during the day and any meal toppers that we give to our dog should be no more than 10% of their total caloric intake for the day. Now, that may be a little bit out of range for most of us to figure out every single day, so go with 10% of volume. That's gonna be your best get it done, quick, easy, no hassle way of figuring that out. All right, guys, I hope this video was helpful and informative and even a little bit fun. Hopefully, I don't know, I try to put energy into it. <laughs> so with that, I'm gonna mention just a couple of things before we go. One is Patreon. I said something about it earlier, Patreon's really cool. It's the first link in the description of this video because you get the content you sign up for. And on Patreon, if you choose to follow me, and I hope you do, you can join for as little as a dollar a month. You get new content, exclusive content, behind the scenes content. I post stuff there and I talk to my Patreon followers in ways that I don't I don't post this stuff anywhere else. It's really a tight-knit community we have over there. I highly recommend you join, again, for as little as a dollar a month, and that helps me to continue to bring content like this to you and other pet parents like you, as well as the podcast, which leads me into the next thing I'm gonna tell you about, which is the podcast. If you're not already following the Pet Parenting Reset, wherever you get your podcast, why not? I really hope you do. Go open up your podcast app right now, type in the Pet Parenting Reset, give it a follow, make sure you start listening to the episodes. Once you've listened to an episode or two and you're like, yeah, this is actually pretty cool stuff, Jessica, thank you so much for putting it out. Make sure you give us a rating as well because that's the best way for these podcast platforms to recommend the podcast to other people out there so we can grow it and get this really great information out to as many pet parents as possible. I can put the content out, but you have to help me distribute it. That's how it works. So with that, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Yeah, give your pets some extra love from me today. Until next time, bye guys.